Welcome back, everybody! Today is the day that we strike the biggest blow of all to Calamity Raven. Perhaps this will be the end of Calamity Raven as we know it? Who knows? But either way, we are going to strike the biggest blow we have ever done. And it'll be crazy talk. Lots and lots of crazy talk, as there is every episode, of course. I mean, you can't have an episode without crazy talk, right? Of course not. Anyway, this is our lineup. We're going to have the tank. We're going to have Kurt on B. We have Amy on C for a little defensive purposes. Alphonse on D also for defensive purposes. And Felix on E for, well, he uh, I don't know. Temporarily, he's going to be there anyway. I might move him at some point just if I need an extra soldier, which I'm probably going to at some point. I don't know. Either way, we need six turns to beat this. I can't imagine it's going to be that bad, but we'll see. We'll see. It could be really bad. It could be really easy. It could be somewhere in the middle. But that's unlikely. Time to make some money. Okay, I mean, yeah, let's make a lot of money. Let's do this. Let's make, let's make some money. Gotta make a lot of money right now. I agree with you. No, I'm just kidding. Where am I? Nameless. So you've finally come. Falkerer, don't think you can escape from us this time. Echidna's main cannon will definitely make short work of you. That's a massive siege tank. That has to be Calamity Raven's main firepower. We cannot fail here. Everyone give it your all! Wait, did they just say that the Echidna's cannon will make work of the Valkyrer? Echidna's cannon. In this mission, Echidna's cannon will target entire areas. Look for cover to defend yourself. When moving to a unit, make sure to seek cover in a trench before your turn ends. Don't be caught in its firing range. Okay. Okay. Fair enough, then. Echidna MG. Cannon Radiator. Echidna MG. Echidna MG. Hmm. Well, okay, so I don't really need to worry about it too much in that case, huh? So what should I do then? Should I... Hmm. I don't really feel like I need to... Oh, well, I do need to worry about him. Okay, okay. So what's your range? 300. No big deal. No big deal. We can handle that. So this is what I want to do then. I'm going to put Felix on standby. That might be a stupid idea, actually, come to think of it. Or maybe it's a terrible idea. I don't know. Inca, I'm going to move you first because I need to see what exactly is waiting in front of me here. Is there a bunch of rocks just blocking my vision? Possibly. It seems that might be the case. Or maybe not. Hmm. From this angle, he looks like a regular soldier, honestly. But it says he's a heavy armor, though, so I don't know anymore. Alright, so I'll do this then in that case. Take this! You missed! That What? That was terribly off target. Good lord, Inka. I am not proud of you today. I am not proud of you at all. Alright, heck with it. Open fire. I don't freaking know. That, that might work. That might work for a decent amount of damage. Perhaps. Perhaps not. I don't know. Alright, Inka, you got this. I believe in you. I don't believe in you. Oh, gosh. There we go. There's a lot of targeting going on. <coughs> <coughs> Prepare yourself. Oh, yes. Mm, nice damage we got there. Hmm. Okay, we'll cover the sky. Uh, wait, where's the trench at? I don't know where the trench is at. I don't even see a trench. Do you see a trench? Because I don't. Well, anyway, I thought that'd be a trench, but that's just a, that's a rock. Unless that? Oh, it, take, it took out two turrets. Okay, okay. That's some good stuff there, actually. Oh, but I need to go over his body, do, don't I? Oh, shoot. This could be terrible. I don't want it to be terrible. Heck with that. Heck with terrible. All right, start getting closer. We need to we need you to approach ever so slowly. Make your progress here. Do some damage. We love damage here. Hmm, yes. Boom. Got it. Nailed it. Kaboom. Done for. There's more than likely gonna be some kind of form of reinforcements. But what? Will it be revived enemies? I don't know. I don't really want to take my chances on that, because I mean if they revive the enemies, it'll be terrible, of course. 
Alright, one shot is all I need. Oh yeah, you done for now, Kova the Stout. You don't seem so stout anymore now, do you? Of course not. Alright, Alphonse. I was thinking of one thing, but I might be doing something else instead, in fact. So let's see. I'll put you on standby so you can get a little bit closer. I'm going to make you move right now. Boom. That moves great. Keeping the gentleman to the enemies. That's what you got to be. Always be a gentleman. Always do it because it's a good thing to be a gentleman. Oh, or maybe it's not. I don't know. Oh, I can't reach. I don't think I'm going to reach. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Even though it's heavily armored, there has to be a weak point somewhere. Kurt, over there, there's a radiator. Something that huge must have multiple radiators. Question is, which parts do they control? From its design, the two, the two, the two over there the, for the main cannon. If we can take those out, the main cannon will be disabled. If we can disable that, then we can advance on the enemy's position. The objective is to take out those radiators. Spread out and can concentrate your fire. Okay. Well, we'll try, I suppose. Hopefully it doesn't do too much damage, but we'll see. We'll see. Here we go. Enemy phase. Oh, gosh. Here it comes. Rocket artillery is ready to fire in Area 1. Whoa! Well, that's crazy talk now. I mean, can we find any kind of cover whatsoever? I would like to find some cover. That'd be nice. Okay, then. Okay, then. Here's what I want to do, then. I would like to put... Amy on standby. I'm gonna pull out... I'm gonna pull out Clarissa, because her health is higher. Makes a little more sense to do that, I would think. I don't know. Maybe she'll survive the bombardment. Maybe she won't. Who's to say? I don't know. Either way, the enemy didn't get revived, so that's cool, I guess. Okay, get get that. We need a little morale boost, so that way you can have a nice, powerful rocket launcher. A little later on. Excuse me. Excuse me so, so much. Alright, Inka, you ready? Do the best you can to get as close as you possibly can to that radiator. I don't think I'm able to hit it from here, am I? Well, shoot. Maybe I should try to take a shot at it when I had the chance. I didn't think I would need to do it right there, but I did. I did need to do it. I did. But I was mistaken. Okay, you can do this from here. <coughs> Come on, Inka. Come on. Come on. Let's let's do this. Let's do this. Come on. Yeah, that's half damage. That's actually not too bad. I was expecting a little bit worse than that, but I mean, we can definitely get by with half the damage taken out in one hit. So that's all we need. That's all we need. And then we can do some even more damage on... Oh, shoot. Have I ruined it? Oh, no, I did not. That radiator is done for. Hmm. They destroyed one of the radiators. They were able to pull off such a precise attack. I've underestimated them. Calamity Raven Infantry, push them back. Great. We've taken out of the side radiators. We still need to destroy the one on the other side to disable the main cannon. Everyone attack! Well, I mean, what infantry is there? I mean, Calamity Raven doesn't even seem to have any infantry left to really do anything. Also, I never even got on down with that body, apparently. Oh, well. It's fine. I didn't need to. Shoot. <laughs> oh, never mind. It's fine. We didn't take any damage from that. Where's What is that lag? What, what the heck? Lag? Oh, jeez. What did I step on this time? I don't even know what I stepped on. Uh, I don't know. I just kind of figured maybe just take a wild shot. Maybe, maybe I'll hit him. <coughs> <coughs> I don't know. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, yeah, that does a lot of damage, actually. Hmm. Okay. Fair enough. I mean... Okay, this is an enemy reinforcement. But that's it? That's literally all you can do. Is just that one little reinforcement right there. I mean, okay. I mean, at least Alphonse and Inca are beefy enough to not really need the extra health. But that was kind of scary. Not going to lie. Jeez. I could have died. It looked like that was an anti-tank mine I stepped on, apparently. Oh, well. It doesn't matter. 
in the end, we'll end up killing it, and they'll be like, whoa, there we go. There's half damage right there. You want to take another half damage? I think you do. I think you do. Prepare yourself. Really? Really? Is this what we've been reduced to now? Is just not being able to kill things properly? It seems that way. It does, but I don't need it. I don't need another tank shell to kill this thing. All I gotta do is just do this, and it's over. Oh, yes! It's over. Game over. Game, set, match. Mission complete! <clears throat> that took 10 minutes. That basically took 10 minutes. I hope there's a big reward. Mm, maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. 119,000! Yeah, I'd say that's a pretty big reward. Nice reward we got there. 52,000 experience points. Also a big reward. A war pick R. <laughs> Hooray! War pick R, finally! The best weapon in the game, right? Probably not. Captain, the victory has already been decided. We need to retreat. That has that 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 squadron would have changed so much by today. What? Captain DeHow, we haven't lost yet! Let me lead another charge! Don't talk nonsense! Do you want us to lose even worse than we already have? Lydia's right. We can't let ourselves lose here. But... As a warrior, I do not want to let this battle be a failure on our part. But there are people who won't let me die to here. Today. Things. I don't know. That's not what I said. But, you know, I wanted to add that to the script. So excuse me. We're retreating. Gather the troops and evacuate from the battlefield. Yes. Understood. Un... Understood. Now it's... Now it's I that has to overcome you, Second Lieutenant Irving. But you won't, because I'm the main character, so therefore you can never overcome me. <laughs> Even if I game over, I'll just come back and win on the next attempt. Because reasons, because I have multiple attempts. You don't. They're retreating. That was hard, man. We almost lost. Come back anytime. I'll educate you all until you learn to bow before me. Don't relax yet. The battle still isn't over. Valerie, can you get any new information about the status of the Gallian military? The Imperial Valkyria is in the middle of the battle with the Gallian forces. According to the communications, they're being completely outclassed. Huh? What's happened? Another one. Another Valkyrie has appeared. What? Ah. It's probably... It's probably... Uh, what's your face? Alicia. That's probably it. Everyone, look. I can see two pale blue flames. The Imperials had another trump card up their sleeve. No, the other one is from the Gallian military. Gallian military? This is the first time I've heard of that. Yeah, who would have guessed, right? Oh my gosh, I never would have seen that coming in, the, in a million years. I see it, over there. The Valkyria fighting another Valkyria. Are they really human? <coughs> I mean, obviously they have to be in real human, right? They're too fast, I can't follow their movements. That Valkyria! Is that what I am? You don't even know what you are, Riella? Are you just completely in no control whatsoever? I thought you at least had a little control. Yeah. Who won? Wait. The Gallian The Wire is saying that the Valkyria won. Their Valkyria won. <laughs> oh really? The Valkyria won? Which one? The Valkyria from Garlandio lost? That's inconceivable. That's just inconceivable. My enemy was defeated. That's terrifying! There's no way those people are human! I... I'm scared! Riella, calm down. We're leaving the battlefield. Please calm down. Kurt, I'm scared! She's my opponent. No, I can't be scared. I must win. What do you mean you must win? It's already been defeated. You don't have to worry about it anymore. Right? Right? At least I don't think you do. I don't know. 
The largest battle in Gaulian history, the Battle of Nagyar, had ended. You know what that means. The Imperial Valkyrie had led the Gaulians to believe that there, were no, there was no chance of victory. <coughs> oh yeah, sure. As the two Valkyrie clashed, the fate of both armies would soon be determined by the result of that duel. Or would it? <laughs> it seemed the actions of the Nameless were not crucial to the final outcome of the battle. Obviously not. But still, we dealt a big blow to Calamity Raven stuff. And yet, if the Gullian Valkyrie had not arrived, it would have been Riella who would have taken out the Imperial Valkyrie instead. Who knows how important the Nameless might have been. Oh. I guess that's what they were trying to say right there. Is that we would have been pretty important if that had not happened. I get what you mean. I get what you mean now. I thought you were trying to say that we were just like, eh, who cares? We didn't really have any meaning whatsoever in this mission. Or did we? Save completed! Yeah, 16. Chapter 16. Over that bridge. It is September of 1935 once again, of course. Won the decisive battle at Nagyar, and the Imperials were forced to retreat too. And where? I wonder where they were forced to retreat to. And began to massacre Darksons. Okay, that's a little extreme. Meanwhile, the Gaulian military pursued the Imperials. I mean, they're retreating, so they're going to massacre Darksons. Okay. Was also trying to control the small scale killing and looting that came. Okay. The Imperials are Nazis confirmed. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. Late September 1935, Northern Nagyar. The newspaper says that the Gallian victory in Nagyar was much better than expected. It looks like that reporter didn't have a very optimistic view from the beginning. The report, that, the report keeps calling the victory lucky. That's not really praise. The victory that we got is like we've used up an entire lifetime's worth of luckiness. If the Gallian Valkyria never showed up, our army would have been annihilated by the Imperial Valkyria. No, because we would have Riella. Duh, come on. Don't be stupid now, Surge. Jeez. Bre breakfast is almost finished. We should get ready for our drills. It looks like there's no time for us to rest. We need to stop the Imperials from killing and looting. Otherwise, the land and its citizens will all fall to a calamity. We need to protect them. I didn't think Leela would be this strong. How can a sack of fat like you compare with me? This is necessary exercise. What, no whipping? Really? Oh, that's right. What about Kurt? <clears throat> He's busy in the other work in the other room. Don't bother him. But I wanna bother him. I want to, I want to, but they won't let me. I'm sorry, Kurt, I feel a lot better now. Witnessing that sight, no one would be able to stay calm, much less you, Riella. Oh I'm not scared. Huh? Eh? I never thought you were scary before, and I never will. If you're scared of yourself, then come and find me. I won't be afraid. Hmm, thank you. You're welcome. In fact, you're so welcome. I don't know. I don't know anymore. I'm gonna go to sleep. <sighs> Everyone, it looks like the, res uh, the restructuring of the forces is finished. Although you can't really say it's completely finished. I have no opinion. I'll fight alone if I have to. Maximilian has entrusted us to head to the northeast to engage in guerrilla warfare. This is to protect those who are treating to Gerlandio. To eliminate any Gallian forces in the area to delay their communications. Maximilian's finally eased his ego and come to us for help. If we do this little favor for him, it'll pay off in the future. And we can still accomplish Borgia's wish to extend the war for as long as possible. Apparently I've been pronouncing Borgia's name incorrectly the entire time, but... I don't know. I've been pronouncing his name this wrong the entire time, so like, I might as well just keep pronouncing it this way. I don't care! I like the way I pronounce it, so excuse me. I'm sorry, Joe. I'm sorry that I had to go against the pronunciations that you showed me were correct, but... I gotta keep going this way because I like it better. I don't know! 
Excuse me. What about the plan to kill the Valkyria? The fact that three Valkyria have shown up must be making his head, head explode. And he can't raise a hand against Selvaria. On the Gallian side, Isler is completely unreliable. Before we follow Borgia's orders, we are to follow Maximilian's. We're splitting into four different squadrons for our operation. Do as you see fit. Four different squadrons? What the heck? The, the Nameless are probably also in the Northeast. What to do? Uh, you could always just join back with us and cause even more calamity for Calamity Raven. That'd be nice. Betray them all! Everyone, please listen up. The enemy's over there. And we're over here. We, this is where our line is. We'll be pursuing the Imperials that lost at the Battle of Nagyar. We'll be engaging in guerrilla warfare in the northeastern part of Gallia. We'll start approaching from this end. We'll take out all three of them at once. I don't know how it's going to happen, but we will. Eliminate every enemy that you come across. Then we, we, then we will combine forces at Borger. And we'll take out that enemy guarding the front gate as well. And we will eliminate the Imperial forces garrison there. We'll draw a circle on the map. And then we'll eliminate everyone. Just like that. Because voodoo magic exists. Don't deny it. You know it's true. There was a large bridge over the river in Borgir. If we can block it off, we can split the Imperial forces in two and guarantee the safety of the southern portion. Porshi on. I know that the Battle of Nagyar has left everyone tired, but we can't rest now. We must win this upcoming battle. Everyone collect yourselves and fight. But what if I don't want to fight? What if I want to boycott the war now? R&D rank is now level 15. That's it? Just R&D rank level 15? Okay, then. Defend the goods. Destroy enemy supply crates. Oh, great. We have four-star missions now. Lieutenant General Oak. Huh. Interesting. And Lieutenant Colonel Hull. Well, I think my idea for this mission is very easy at this point here. Anyway, let's go to base camp and do some leveling up and everything, shall we? That'd be nice. Let's see, it'd be very, very nice indeed. Alright, procurement shop. Wait a second. Well, actually, I'll worry about that later, I suppose. I don't know. Gallian S7. <coughs> not bad, but I don't want it. The Rowan 3, not bad, but I don't want it. Rowan SRG 3, not bad, but I don't want it. Now, the upgraded Brondel, absolutely, I want that, but it's only for Surge, so, I mean, Ada doesn't get that, you know? Hmm, anti-tank sniper, not good enough. The T-Mag 6, not good enough. T-Mag FF3, that's not good enough either. Nothing's good enough, really. The Squall 6, ah, oh, excuse me. Anyway, yeah, I got that. I got this, the Hurricane 1. 60 shots! Holy shamoly! I think I might get that to her, actually. Or wait, or do I? Wait a second. That might not be a good thing, come to think of it. We don't need the Hurricane 1. Nope, nope, nope. Because the Interception Fire doesn't really work. I think it didn't work... Did th did it work that way in Valkyria Chronicles 2 where the interception fire is the same as a regular shot? Or was it more like the trooper class where it's like, oh, well, we'll just have uh, this happen. I don't know. I feel like it did happen differently, though. But I'm not entirely remembering that very well, so eh, I don't know. Anyway, I'll buy this thing now, I suppose, because why not? Boom, got it. The Thymer 4. I was told that the Thymer is actually better, but it's just, you know, it's downgraded. Once it gets to the same level, it will be better. So, at this point, it's completely pointless. Kind of weird. It is kind of weird, but oh well, what can you do about it? Viper S7, yes please, I'm about to run out of money, I kind of just realized that. I kind of just realized that, I'm going to buy some new armor, thank you very much. A high powered scope with 10 more range, whoa, 10 more range, let's not get too crazy now. Let's not get too crazy. <laughs> <coughs> Give me a break here. Alright, we're out of stock. Now I can't buy anything for tanks. What a shame. What a shame. 
Hmm. Hmm, medium ATC, you say? Not bad, not bad at all. Actually, we already had that. What am I talking about? I'm actually like it's the first time I've ever seen that. So let's see, what about turrets? Anything good for turrets? That'd be an absolute no. Retrofitted side armor, no thank you. Calamity Raven camo, well. I mean... Yeah, honestly, that might be a good camo to go for, because it gives me more versus armor. But eh, I don't know. The Edelweiss, range and morale up. But I don't want that. And Isara's gift is range and AP up. I still don't remember what sticker I even have on in the first place. Equip tank. Let's see, what do I got for the thing? Versus armor and range correct? I forget what range correct even does. I don't know. I'm confused. But anyway, I can't buy any more things, so I'm going to stop buying things now. Thank you very much. Let's go in here and see what we got. Any new orders? Full area recon at long last. Finally! I've been waiting for this. Now I can full area recon every single thing. And I'll be like, well, that's where the ace is. Now I know. Now I know where every single hidden enemy is. That's probably something more to do at the end of a mission, though, just in case. Don't do it at the beginning of the mission unless I really want to know where the ace is right away, I suppose. But I don't know. I'll probably save that for, like, the end of a mission. Or if it's a capture enemy base camp, then I'll do it at the beginning of the mission. And I'll be like, well, that enemy's over there, that enemy's over there, there you go. Congratulations, you did it. Let's leave. Let's leave the entire area because we need to do that. Let's see if we got some new information, shall we? What do we got today? We got the dossier, do we? Oh, no. Okay, no, 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 no. There's no such thing as new information, but there probably will be for Brixum, which doesn't make any sense, actually. Why? At the Battle of Nagyar, his eye was injured. As a result, his accuracy became unsuitable for a sniper, and he retired from the army. Aw. I actually forgot about that. That's what happened to him. So wait a second, then. His eyes were always like that. His eyes aren't like that as a result of a sniper wound, then. Or, wait, his injury... His eye injury has nothing to do with why he looked that way, then. I completely forgot about that. Hmm. Interesting. The more you know, right? The more you know. Two things. After the Nagyar campaign, she recognized the Nameless's strength. And was amazed that Gusurg fought with such few numbers. And his darks and fighting spirit piqued her interest. Wait, there's another one. Durr. Uh, uh, get me back here. She is a Yigdis that was raised by the church as an orphan. She was given the family name Ag later, but hates it. As it has no history or significance. Oh, that's why she hates it. But she didn't explain it, so how the heck did we just come across that information randomly? Kind of makes you wonder, doesn't it? So wait a second. I mean, now it has that little logo on there. Does that mean just dead? Because, I mean, Gooser got that logo on it, but he wasn't dead. I don't get it. Anyway, Encyclopedia. Nagyar Plains. That. The Battle Nagyar. Was that the newspaper Gullian Times say that this happened? What was that? I don't know. It could have been anything. Three? Three new things, really? Okay, fine. Let's see how it is. Keep giving me more and more new things. See if I care. I don't care. Hmm. Alright, we're done with that. Which can only mean one thing at this point. We gotta go to the war room! Back to the war room, and we'll prepare ourselves for doing some more things. Wait, there's three missions? Ha ha ha! Uh, Lieutenant Oki has a VB HPL, but that's pointless. We don't need that. We don't need that. What is the mission? Planes? Retreat? Five supply boxes? Eh. I'll do that one. I want to destroy some supply crates instead. I can do that here as well. Suck of the snitch, eh? Can't... Uh, don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do at all. Alrighty then. Was there... That was it, right? Did, wait, actually, how was chapter 15 exactly? Did we finish it? We did. An S rank for everything in chapter 15. Hooray for that! Alrighty then, everyone. I think we're about at the end of this episode, in fact. Yes, we are. Actually, we just basically hit 30 minutes, in fact. Well, anyway... 
on the next exciting episode, we will go ahead and do this. And I will do this off screen as usual, of course, because why not? It'd be nice to do that. Socket snitch. I already read that. I forgot if I read that or not. Anyway, though, we'll be doing this mission because heck with it. Three branching path missions? Or wait, do I have to do all of these? Maybe I have to do all of these. Maybe it's one of these missions. I didn't even think about that. It could be. Or maybe it's branching path. I don't know. Anyway, though, everyone, we'll find out what that is on the next exciting episode. Maybe it'll be a branching path. Maybe it's just one path and that's it. Hmm. I wonder. Anyway, I will see you all later, everyone. Goodbye. Let me tell Actually, you know what? Yeah, I'll just leave a poll for that. Let me know what you think it might be. <laughs> see you later. Bye.